All right, ladies and gentlemen, these are your asynchronous instructions on how to complete the infamous criminals lab. Okay, on this slide, I'm going to read through the procedures with you. Please follow along. Procedures, you're going to use the information found in each case files to identify the color, luster, street color, hardness, density, and name for each of the five minerals. You're going to, one, observe each mineral and classify it as either metallic or non-metallic. Two, describe the color of the mineral. Three, identify the mineral streak from the color from the picture or you can use the video I created. Four, use the mineral hints and Mohs scale on slide four to determine its hardness. Again, I also have that in the video I created. Five, calculate density using mass and volume provided in the case file information. And six, provide the actual mineral name for your mineral, not the criminal name. So on the following five slides, you're going to have a criminal and you need to read through the scenario and identify is it metallic or non-metallic, its color and its street color. Sometimes the street color will be stated in here. Other times you'll have to look at the picture to determine that. I've also included a video that has the street color on both the black and white tile, so you can use that as well. You're going to need to calculate the hardness. Over here on the right, I have mineral hints. These are verbal hints that you need to use on the Mohs hardness scale to determine where does your mineral lie within the scale. Then you need to calculate density. Mass and volume is given for each mineral in the reading. You have to calculate density. Remember, you're going to take mass and divide that by volume, okay? And then give me the name of the mineral, which is stated in yellow, but I don't want the full name. I just want the name of the mineral. So let's see if you can grab that one. Um, should be fairly easy to identify. And then on the following two slides, after you do that, you're going to read through case files and be like the detective. You're going to read through them and determine which one of these five minerals match the clues in this case file. And then you need to tell me the criminal responsible for this crime is, insert mineral name, because, and explain why that one is. So you need to use your text evidence and clues from the previous slides to describe that. And here is case file number two, same thing. And then on the final slide, you're going to answer the criminal analysis questions. Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know. This assignment will be due on Tuesday, February 9th, 2021.